Oh my god, you can meow in this game? This is the best game ever. Oh my god, you can play from another cat's tail? This is the best game ever. Oh my god, you can... Okay, okay, you get the point. Oh my god, you can rub against another cat? This is the best game ever. I just had to check, okay? I'm curious. I know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. I love how the game is telling me to press B to meow, as if I never discovered that straight away. That is the first thing I check for when playing any cat game. And I also love having my own cat posse, or because it's cats, would it be known as a cat pussy? We're just ripping down some random tree now. You'd think with humans gone, deforestation would be an issue, but the trees can never just catch a break. Unless they're actually being broken, of course. Tearing down the rainforest is thirsty work, but someone's gotta do it. You know, there's something just so relaxing about this game, especially after you've just completed Elden and the Cuphead DLC. It's a much welcome change of pace. I love how in any other game, change them wouldn't be a big deal, but here I'm like, that's so cool. I can already tell what's going to happen here, but part of me is hoping it doesn't happen. Yep, that is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Just when I started getting over watched Lion King from 20 years ago, and this has to remind me of it again. Oh no, my posse. Now we'll never be able to achieve our dream of starting that band. Everyone knows you need four members, but it just doesn't work. I can hear my posse calling for me. They'll save me. I know they will. They just wouldn't leave their leader behind. Turns out I was wrong. I passed out, woke back up again, and they're gone already. Well, looks like I'm going solo then. I always knew I'd go solo one day. Most likely after the band had a cat fight, but I just didn't think it'd be this soon. Dead city. I don't know if it was dead before I got here, or if that's like a warning to the rest of the city, now that I'm here. What the hell are those things? They don't look dead to me. Well, yeah, watch this. I've just been standing doing this for about 5 minutes. I think it's my new favourite thing ever. Help it says, but because I'm role playing as a cat and can't read, I have an excuse to not help for a change. Something I do understand is how to disrespect the dead by walking over this corpse. And the fact I'm going this way does not mean I want to help by the way. It's literally the only way I can go. Believe me, I tried to go a different way. I just found this sweet bucket and I'm going to take it with me through the whole playthrough. For no reason at all. Oh no, I know what it wants me to do, but I really don't want to do it. Fine, you win. We've been through so much together over the last 30 seconds as well. I'm just taking my frustration out on these paint cans. If I can't have nice things, then no one else can. I'll assume I have to go this way and smash the window. I assume, mind you, even if I didn't have to go this way, I would still smash the window. And if covering the house in paint wasn't enough, I'll just knock over all our stuff too. This is like the opposite of extreme makeovers. Instead of coming in and improving the house, I'm just coming in and tearing the place apart. Just when I thought this game couldn't get any better, there you have it. I can't ride in a bucket. Hey, hands off. If there's a dead corpse to walk over, that's mine. That was such a delayed reaction. I was actually almost past him by the time I jumped back. It turns out he wasn't dead, but he is now. Even in a game about being a cute cat, I still managed to kill someone. Did I say the corpse was mine? On second thought, you can have it. I don't mind, honest. Why is this turned into horror game all of a sudden? It's went from having the time of life, smashed up people's houses and walking over corpses to Resident Evil Cat Edition. It's almost as if there are consequences my actions. A last minute dramatic jump sequence, just what I need. I'm trying to meow over and over in hopes it'll break these TVs. You'd think after almost getting killed I would change my ways, but no, I'm straight back to destroying things. I've been trying to figure out what to do here for ages and now that I've realised, I feel so stupid. This is probably a puzzle that is aimed for children to solve and I'm sitting here like, huh? Well, I'm dead. I didn't even think that'd be possible, to be honest. Oh wait, no, I'm still alive, so cats really do have 9 lives. Although I feel by this point, I probably used up about 5 or 6 of them. This puzzle's easy, I've already had loads of practice knocking things over. You'd think after the last apartment I smashed up, they wouldn't let me anywhere near another one. Well, time to knock over their possessions, as is tradition, and rip up their carpet, as is tradition. Need help? Ronnie! I'm just pretending I can't understand him, just so I don't have to help him. Who would have knew that the password to that door was indeed E? I'm just lucky it didn't request a capital letter and a special character, or else I would have been screwed. This person is probably in serious danger, but I'm just having too much fun. It's just so satisfying. It reminds me of when I first got my mechanical keyboard. Well, I guess we better progress the story. It'd be a bit boring if the rest of the video was just me walking on a keyboard. Well, boring for you. I'd be having the time of my life. This room looks like it has some expensive equipment in it. I wonder if I can break anything. This room is the opposite of fun. Instead of breaking things, I seem to actually be fixing something. Well, I think. I'm connecting these power things when I have no clue what they do, so there's still hope I'm actually breaking something. Ah, a secret room. Now that makes the effort worth it. If it's anything like my secret rooms in The Sims, this game could be about to get pretty interesting. Aww, why does every person I meet have to already be dead? I want to be the one to kill them. I have no idea what this box is, but it looks expensive, so I think the best thing to do is drop it 10 feet before I look inside. Okay, that thing is alive. This isn't good. Hopefully it doesn't end me dropping it 10 feet before it powered on. That's it. Give it a smack to show it who's boss, just in case it does remember I dropped it 10 feet. I couldn't believe the cameras, which means, damn it, he does remember things before he turned on. 
It seems my memory is corrupted. You know, I'm getting mixed signals here. He seems confused. If he mentions the whole dropping thing, I'll just act stupid and say your memory must be corrupted. He definitely remembers a dropping thing because he just imprisoned me in a straitjacket and just about broke my back. I'll teach you for imprisoning me. Good luck getting a good steam cleaner at this time of night. Oh, good thing the code is under there. I was just knocking the paint over to be a dick. Okay, I can't get distracted. I need to remember that code. I forgot the code already. 3748. Got it. A piano? How cool. I know we need to go up, he says, so I immediately go down. Even when I'm not trying to be difficult, this cat is doing it for me. This is why I love cats. We're just constantly on the same wavelength. Not these things again. I just survived last time, and that was before I had a straight jacket weighing me down. Oh no, this isn't the right way. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? This looks like the right way. So it's true what they say. Follow the light. Or it could be don't follow light. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention. Finally, someone else who's alive. Well, we can soon sort that, can't we? Oh wait, it looks like he's heard me. Maybe I should stop speaking my plans out loud. I feel like this is the type of power cats imagine having your life. I'm guess they're running because they think I'm one of those things. But in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm a big scary cat. So it looks like you're the only one man enough to face me. I'm going to enjoy ripping up your carpet. You're welcome in our village, as long as you don't eat anyone. Well, that I can't promise. What I can promise is, you'll get welcome into your village by the time I leave. Now everyone's trying to sneak out before anyone sees them, so they can be like, did you see how brave I was? I wasn't scared at all. I was just about to take him on myself before that old man got involved. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. The guy I'm looking for just had to be in the highest building in the whole town, didn't he? Good thing this isn't a sloth simulator, otherwise this could be the longest game ever made. And since you're all scared of me, I'll just rip up your carpet since no one will do anything about it. Almost got it. Just like I hope you're almost about to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. I don't know why, but I just keep showing everyone time my picture. I'm like a child showing their parents. Apart from I never actually drew this. I'm just taking credit for it. Oh no, why did I just put this bag in my head? It seemed like a good idea at the time, but now my controls are all messed up. It's fun how you can just interact with all this different stuff as a cat, because just like a cat, you get curious when you see something and wonder, what would happen if I just jumped up there and touched that? I mean, what more do you need in a game than a robot playing a good tune as a cat cuddles up to him and sleeps next to him? I honestly don't know where games can go from here. Take Clementine's notebook. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds private, so the right thing to do is definitely take it. Hey doc, I found the keys to your safe. Well, he didn't keep them very safe then, did he? Please laugh. Oh, there's the safe there. I'm not going to lie. I was walking about trying to find that for probably a lot longer than I should have been. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. I keep finding these notebooks. I don't know if these are just collectibles, if I actually need them for something. That was such a delayed reaction that I don't even think you could blame that on me anymore. At that point, it was just stupidity. It doesn't matter whose fault it was though. All that matters is we piss someone off, so everyone's a winner. Well, apart from that pissed off person. And now to rub it in their face whilst they rub the paint like any good cat would. Maybe it's a good idea to pull out the power supply before I jump down there. I know I have 9 lives, but I still don't fancy my chances. That was close, I was literally just about to leave, thinking there was nothing here, but I was saying to myself, why would it let me come down here if there was nothing there? After a long detour, we're finally here. Now I know why cats are so random. After seeing the world through their eyes, I can see why it's so easy to get distracted. Oh look, a cat toy. You see, that's exactly what I was just talking about. We should show him the other notebooks we found. That's handy, I already have them, because the game is going to send me to get him anyway. You see, I know what I'm doing. I know it doesn't look like it most of the time, but trust me, I'm a gamer. I wouldn't have gave him the notebooks if I knew he was going to fix something. I'm here to break things, not fix them. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zucks. Great, so not only am I the one to fit this thing, but he's also sent me into a death trap. I would have had more respect for him if he was just honest and was like, I don't want to die, but you're expendable. That's why I'm sending you. Great, I'm sure glad to see you guys again. Oh no, I don't know why I just me out there. The game told me to and I just did it without thinking. This is bad, this is bad. Phew, that was a close one. See, this is a situation where you should use your meow button to actually bait your enemies, not when they're standing right in front of you and you have nowhere to go. Fantastic, we're trying to be sneaky as possible and you do that by making as much noise as possible. I know we like to destroy things, but this is one situation we don't. And great, we've just alerted the horde. I thought we were on the same wavelength, but now, maybe not so much. Ah, wait, I get it now. So I've opened this door again and then let them all through, then shut the door and quickly jump across. They shouldn't be able to get me. Although, if the distance they can jump, they do look as if they should be able to easily clear that jump. I'm not too far away from the tower now. If this didn't benefit me as much as it does the robot, I definitely would just throw this thing off the tower after him sending me on a suicide mission. But unfortunately, it's my only way to get away from these psychopaths. Says the guy who's playing as a cat and talking to himself right now. As if this couldn't get any worse, this looks even more terrifying. It looks like a level from Doom or something. 
This is horrible. I don't know where to go. I just jumped in here without thinking it through as usual. Okay, now I can see where I'm meant to go. If I actually just took two seconds to think about things, it would work out so much better. Give these guys a slip again. I'm actually thinking now. This is good. I didn't expect a cat game to become so intense, you know? No, no, no. What are you doing? I meant to jump on that wooden plank. Great. I'm dead. Thanks for that. And it sent me all the way back here. This is so depressing. Okay, I can't even really blame the game. I was trying to jump onto a plank down there. But it's up here you go. You know what? I'll blame the game anyway. Stupid game. Uh oh. This isn't good at all. I'd have had enough time dealing with a handful of them. But now there's loads. And they just seem to keep coming. If any of you watching, if ever wonder what anxiety feels like, this is basically what's going on in your brain. 24-7. Whew. I made it. Oh, have I? They can't get through here, right? Right? After all that stress, they can't even just open the door for me. No, they're even going to make me climb out of here. At least that's the transistor on. I may have made a few modifications on it that I never told the robots about. What? Did you not believe people when they said cats would take over all one day? Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching me as a cat, I suggest watch me play through the eyes of a robot next. And of course, thank you to my patrons. Harry Haywood, Captain Tourette, Ash, Kajel Sinke, Sun Mumble, Zipnix and Zippy Lucky.